hello everybody welcome to another art journal page and today's art journal technique that i tried out for that particular page was to use transfer it on art journal so here i was showing you the transfer it that i plan to use and some of the new mixed media stencils released by craft angles and i was just browsing them and deciding on which one should i use for this page so it finally came down to these two designs and i decided to use both of them in my project and here is my art journal come diary which i have been using to try out different art journal pages if you have missed out on my earlier pages i link that playlist below for you all so if you wish you can check the same out so here i am using craft angles transfer it so basically my whole idea was to create that wallpaper kind of a look for this particular art journal page and for that i have decided to use these kind of you know shabby chic roses floral print for my page and you can see that once uh, i have cut it to size what i did was i removed the plastic backing and then i kind of tore it down with my hands so what this does is it kind of gave gave me the deckled and uneven kind of a edge which i was looking for because as i said you know the whole idea behind this particular art journal page was to create that old wallpaper kind of a look on my page so it would feel like the female is standing behind a wall and that wall is uh, so basically it's a 1970s 1980s kind of a look that i was going for and uh, you know i was going for that whole wall covered with wallpaper which has that old look to it and some old faded colors that will show through so i'll take you step by step on how i create that look so the first thing that i did was once i stick my transfer it on top of my art journal page i will add water to it and i'll simply remove the backing so that way is my transfer is now transferred on the top of the paper however i am not going to gesso it because remember the whole technique in this page is to create the crackle effect on top of transfer now if i seal it i will not be able to add cracks on it now here are the three colors of chalk paint that i am using and uh, they are again inspired from the same background that i am using of the transfer it so i have taken one green one peach color and one brown color uh sorry one blue color for uh, contrast so the green that i am using is funky fern again whatever products that you know i am using you don't have to remember the name etc all the products will be linked below for you all so it is easier for you to check out in case you are interested now uh, if you remember my earlier art journal pro project you'll remember that whatever color i lay down first since these are chalk paints and they are opaque in nature what will happen is whatever colors i add on top of it will kind of hide the first color that is why i'm going with green because i did not want to add a lot of green on top of my page and uh, that is why i'm applying it first and then on top of it i will apply the other colors so i'm using brayer to apply the colors and the other thing that you will see is that while i am applying the colors on the top of the transfer page i will take some water and the same color and i will apply that on the top of the transfer it as well so in the center part of the page now what that will do is it will do two things it will kind of blend my transfer to the background okay and the second thing that it will do is the water is reactive with the transfer it right because transfer it are effectively water transfer sheets so what that does is the more water you touch to it the more and bigger crackle you get so if you add less water you will get smaller crackles if you add more water and keep uh, let the water be on top of it it will go on reacting and it will further disintegrate the whole transfer it and go on giving you more and more cracks so it is a kind of a uh, technique where you need to do some practice to see how much water you need to add um i have kind of done that a lot of time in quite a few of my projects because i really like the whole crackled effect the transfer it's give so i know how much water i need to put you know to get what kind of trans uh, crackle effect on top of the transfer it but effectively that is what i have done over here is that i have taken some water and the same paint and i'm blending that 
on the corners i am applying through brayer and on the center i am blending it with the brush so that brush will blend the color and it will also add water on the top of transfer so adding that crackle effect so i hope i was clear on how i got that crackled effect because that is the main technique in this page in case you know if you are still uh, if you still have doubt you can definitely comment down below but bottom line add more water on top of transfer to get crackle now that i am happy with how the colors look how the transfer it cracks have come out etc what i do is it is time to seal everything so that you know we can do more coloring inking on top of it so for sealing i am using a combination of white gesso and black gesso uh, sorry white gesso and clear gesso so wherever there is clear gesso the entire color will come through and i am adding white gesso in some areas to tone down the colors especially the corners where i felt there was some or the more color so here you can see on the right side uh, you know how the brayered look has come due to the brayer it literally feels like it is an old wall on which you know there is a, a torn wallpaper that is there so this look was essentially achieved just by using some brayers and transfer it and some water so i hope you know you like this uh, technique because i really plan to uh, use this in a shadow box as well so in future if i plan to do a 3d project i could definitely use this on a back of a shadow box and uh, kind of create a 3d model the whole 3d model which is vintage looking so here i'm next step is to add some textures and to add those textures i'm applying some clear texture paste through the stencils so these are the two stencils that i had shown you earlier which i had planned to use and once that is dry what i do is i decide on the layout of my page on where you know the characters will stand etc so in this particular case i have removed some of the paper strips that i had of the existing pattern paper which i kind of felt went with the whole colors that i had going on the top of the page and uh, since you know i am creating more of a feminine shabby chic kind of a project i decided to add these cutouts so this is another um, newly launched craft angles um, die which is ornate border so it creates very beautiful feminine lacy border which i think was perfect for this art journal page because this art journal page was dedicated to a feminine project so that is what i am using it's a leftover from another of my project and i decided to use it over here now again i felt that you know the green was kind of muted because uh, if you remember green was the color we applied first and then on top of it we applied paint peach color and mint color so kind of i felt you know that the green was kind of lost in the page so just to add a little bit of green here and there i am using the same green which is funky fern and i am applying that with brush only in certain areas where i think i need more green next up just to add more vintage look what i am doing is i am adding more black color a little bit of very toned down black so i am using some black gesso over here and i am watering it down very heavily you can see that you know there is no opacity because i am adding a lot of water so i am treating it like a water color and i am applying it on my page where i need a little bit of black area just to add a vintage look you know like a old wall so that is what i was trying to achieve now next is uh, this whole piece that we have created using the pattern papers and the die cut pieces that was left over i am just applying it and i am deciding on where those papers will get Uh, placed on the top of the page and here the this is one of the paper doll from tim holtz that i am using again whatever products i am using be it my glass media mat the journal the transfer its the stencils the stickers everything i'll link them below for you all so you know you can check that out in the description of the video so here just for some added uh, dimension because uh, we did not do a lot of textures on top of this page what i decided was to stick this entire cluster that we have created using paper on top of a foam tape and then i am sticking my character using some fevicol uh, because i wanted her to be flat and i just wanted this um, base to be a bit uh, on the height using the foam tape 
now whatever i have done on the left side of page i am taking the same element so essentially i am taking the same paper same element same die cut piece and i am creating a similar mirrored look on the right uh, right side of the page itself to kind of you know uh, to make sure that everything is balanced so at this point of time i did not want to add any new uh, any new color or any new pattern so i am using the same pattern paper the same ephemeras and the same die cut so again i'll create a cluster on the left side on top of which i'll be sticking the sticker and you could over here you know use anything that you have these are some of the papers i had in my stash and i'm ju i was just going through to decide whatever works with my color combo and my design that i had in my mind so you know you're free to use uh, whatever makes sense to you over here now the next i felt that still there was a little bit of black missing so what i did was i took the same stencil and i'm going back and adding some stenciled area using black suit distressing and uh, i'm using the ink blending brushes to add the same on top of the page again you know i'm just adding it here and there randomly where i feel that there are a lot of empty spots just to add some interest and then i have added some black splatters and for that i am using gesso again now here is the sentiment that i decided it is from a tim holt sticker book uh, i think this is the snarky version the big chat snarky that i am using and um, then i think i was almost done however at the, this point of time i again felt that you know on the left wherever i had the paper sticking out i felt there was less of the black it was only colors and so i took the same gesso and kind of adding black layer of uh, black gesso of here and there you know again very watered down very light color just to add some interest so that was the page for today guys i hope you enjoyed and i hope you like this particular technique i think this will be a game changer for those of you who use transfer it especially on decoupage as well because uh, you know it will give you a good crackled effect without the added uh, hassle of adding crackle medium or you know creating two layers etc so this is a pretty quick and simple way to add cracks and that was the tutorial for today guys i hope you enjoyed if you did don't forget to like and comment and do consider to subscribing to my channel i'll be back with a lot of new videos i'm trying to be more consistent about it i'll see you in my next video till then guys take care bye bye